more great wisdom from Proverbs chapter 23. When you go out to dinner with an influential person, mind your manners. Don't gobble your food, don't talk with your mouth full, and don't stuff yourself, bridle your appetite. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich, restrain yourself. Riches disappear in a blink of an eye, wealth sprouts wings and flies off into the wild blue yonder. Don't accept a meal from a tightwad. Don't expect anything special. He'll be as stingy with you as he is with himself. He'll say, eat, drink, but he won't mean a word of it. His miserly serving will turn your stomach when you realize the meal's a sham. Don't bother talking sense to fools. They'll only poke fun at your words. And don't stealthily move back the boundary lines or cheat orphans out of their poverty, for they have a powerful advocate who will go to bat for them. Give yourself to discipline instruction. Open your ears to tested knowledge. Don't be afraid to correct your young ones. A spanking won't kill them. A good spanking, in fact, might save them from something worse than death. Dear child, if you become wise, I'll be one happy parent. My heart will dance and sing to the tuneful truth you'll speak. Don't for a minute envy careless rebels. Soak yourself in the fear of God. That's where your future lies. Then you won't be left with an armload of nothing. Oh, listen, dear child, become wise. Point your life in the right direction. Don't drink too much wine and get drunk. Don't eat too much food and get fat. Drunks and gluttons will end up on skid row, in a stupor and dressed in rags. By wisdom, education, and insight. Verse 22. Listen with respect to the father who raised you, and when your mother grows old, don't neglect her. Buy truth. Don't sell it for love or money. Buy wisdom. Buy education. Buy insight. Parents rejoice when their children turn out well. Wise children become proud parents. So make your father happy. Make your mother proud. Dear child, I want your full attention. Please do what I show you. A whore is a bottomless pit. A loose woman can get you in deep trouble fast. She'll take you for all you've got. Who are the people who are always crying the blues? Who do you know that reeks of self-pity? Who keeps getting beat up for no reason at all? Whose eyes are blurry and bloodshot? It's those who spend the nights with a bottle, for whom drinking is serious business. Don't judge wine by its label, or its bouquet, or its full-bodied flavor. Judge it rather by the hangover it leaves with you, the splitting headache, the queasy stomach. Do you really prefer seeing double with your speech all slurred, reeling and seasick, drunk as a sailor? They hit me, you'll say, but it didn't hurt. They beat on me, but I didn't feel a thing. When I'm sober enough to manage it, bring me another drink. Some really wise words from Proverbs chapter 23. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. you.com.